This is a tutorial video for how to open up the Nikon Elements software, get a live image, capture an image, and perform basic measurements. So prior to starting the element software, which is seen here on the desktop icon, make sure that the microscope and the camera and the external lighting controls are all powered on and that you wait maybe 10 seconds or so for the camera to fully load before you start the software. So place your cursor over the desktop icon and double left click. And then the software will open. And then in the software, your basic camera controls, your basic microscope pad, and then your basic measurements are all located here on this side. And then any captured images are located down at the bottom of the screen. So to generate a live image, you can come up here to this button and left click and then a live image is displayed. Depending on how the image appears, you may need to do things like change the exposure time to either lower it to make the image dimmer or lengthen it to make the image brighter. You're perhaps doing a full screen auto exposure. If the color needs to be adjusted, you can press the auto white button if you need to change the uh, resolution times, you can do so by picking either one of these resolutions. It's recommended to keep your live resolution, which is this fast focus section, at the lower resolution, but then you can keep your capture resolution, the resolution that an image is captured at, at the highest resolution. Additional adjustments can be made to external lighting, lowering, increasing, rotating the built-in polarizer that's in the epi illuminator. Various controls can be done outside of the microscope or outside of the, the uh, element software to Im improve the overall image effect. So for a basic image capture, you can left click up here on this capture button and left click and then the image will capture. The image is displayed down here in a thumbnail and it's also displayed up at the top of the screen. Um, where it shows you the captured image. I need to make sure that I have the correct objective lens selected, ideally prior to capturing an image, but you can left click to pick the, re the, the, uh, the correct objective lens for the image. And then I can pick any of these measuring tools if I wanna do say a layer thickness. I make sure I press one and then I come in and I left click and as long as I hold the left mouse button, I can move my measurement anywhere on the screen. Release the left mouse button to place my first line, then move my cursor to the other side, left click, hold, and then precisely place my line on the other edge of the layer, and then release. Now, depending on how you have your label set up, right now currently they're turned off, so my measurement result appears here in the window. If I want my layer measurement uh, label turned on, I can left click this button, appending labels, and then the next time that I left click and do a new measurement, my layer, my measurement result window will appear. So the measurement results can be turned off and on simply by toggling this button off and on here. If I want to put a scale bar on the image, which I would highly recommend, particularly if the image is going to be distributed or sent to people, that button is here. This this button it's is the little micron bar under it. You left click and then the and then the button appears down here at, at the bottom. If I want to make adjustments to the, the, the scale bar or any of the measurement properties, I can enable my pointing tool by left clicking here and then coming down to my scale bar and then hovering it over the scale bar, right clicking and then saying scale properties. Once the scale properties are open, then I can do things like adjust the line width, change the scale appearance uh, for as far as the color. I can change the font size by clicking on the font tab and making that larger to see. I can see how those changes appear on the image by left clicking apply. And then I can see if I need to make any further adjustments. If I'm happy with the scale bar, I can left click OK. And then if I say want to readjust my line measurement results, I can hover my pointing tool over the, the, the measurement result box, left click to select it, and then left click, hold and drag 
to reposition my measurement result. I can also left click on the image, left click and hold and drag and resize my measurement, uh, my measurement line. Additional tools like text can be used if you left click the text box and then left click and hold and drag out a text box size and then type in your text as, as desired. This can be resized as desired. And then to, to finish, I can say file, save, or file, save as, or I can left click the save icon. All three methods are, can be used to save an image uh, as, a, as a file. So left click the save icon, and then a window appears where I have some different options. So if I want to just say I can save to any of the map drives that are on the server or I can also save locally to the desktop or to documents or pictures so just for example if I say desktop so I'm going to save the local desktop I want to give a name I can say uh, sample image one, two, three, four. I can change the file type from an ND2 to say a JPEG which is one of the most universally recognized image formats and whatever image format I pick here, that's what the images will save as until I change this. So if I set it to JPEG and I save the image as a JPEG, it's always going to save as a JPEG. So I've got my location, my name, my format, perhaps leaving the compression at the lowest amount. Make sure that burn annotations is selected. So that way when the image is saved, all of my measurements and any text and my scale bar, all of that, that digital overlay will be saved with the image. So then I can hit save. And then just to, just to show if I minimize, come out to the desktop where I save my image and here's my image, so double left click. And then here's the image with the scale bar, text, measurement lines, et cetera, et cetera. So that concludes this tutorial on how to generate a live image, make basic camera adjustments, select the calibration, do uh, capture the image, do various measurements, and then save the images with the overlay burned in.